What you work on is more important than how hard you work, which is why it's important to make sure you're focusing on the correct tasks and that it's in alignment with your goals. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this Get Shit Done framework where you can set your three main goals that you want to achieve in the next 90 days. You can break them down into two weekly sprints and then you can break those weekly sprints down into daily tasks. And your daily tasks will show up on the calendar view so you can see exactly what needs to get done every day and the total progress for your weekly sprints as well as your goals will update as you complete your daily tasks. And if you want to save yourself some time, then feel free to grab this template through the first link in the description or follow along with me to learn how to build it yourself. And with that out of the way, let's get started. So for the goal section of this database, you can just add a new goal here and then here you can add a deadline. So you can just add in when this goal needs to be finished and you'll see the total days remaining. And then for this database, as well as all the other ones, you have a wins view, which is just all of your completed goals, weekly sprints or tasks. So just showing all of your wins. And once you've added in your goal, you can then go to the weekly sprints view and you can click on the add sprints view. And then here you can add in your sprints. So let's do week five and then let's also do week six and then click on the timeline. Here we can add in dates for them. So let's do this week and then the other one is going to be next week. And then we can go ahead and link them to the goals. So let's link this to goal three. Now on the overview section, you'll be able to see your weekly sprints underneath the goal and you can also see them on the calendar view. And then for the tasks, it's pretty much the same process. You just go to the add tasks view and then here you add in your tasks and then you just add a date to them and link them to a weekly sprint. So I'm just gonna link it to week number five and then inside the overview section, you'll be able to see all of your daily tasks underneath each weekly sprint. And then for the stars database, you also have a view showing all of the tasks for this week, as well as your calendar view. All right, now let's start building this template. All right, so on a blank page, which you can always create by just clicking on this button, and then I've also just made it full width and added an icon and a name. On the blank page, you want to create a new table view database. And then for this database, this is going to be a new table, and this one is going to be for our goals. And then you want to create another database which is going to be for the weekly sprints. So this one I'm just going to call weekly sprints. And then the third database is going to be for our daily tasks. So once you've created your three databases, you can just go ahead and delete these tag properties. You can go ahead and hide the database titles and then also just go ahead and create the colored box and then just make sure that it's set to the default color. So it gives this nice outline and you can give it an icon and also just name it. So this is going to be for our 90 day goals. And then I'm going to drop my database inside highlight the text and then make it bold, underline it and also change the text color. And then for the scholar box, I'm also going to press enter and add a quote block by using the quotation mark and the space and then just add in the description of this database. And then you just repeat this process for the weekly sprints and daily tasks as well. All right, now let's go ahead and add all of the properties for our databases. For the goals database, we're going to add a date property, which is going to be for the deadline. And we're also going to add in a formula, which we're just going to call deadline formula. For the weekly sprints database, for now, we're just going to add in a date property, which is going to be the timeline. And then for the task database, we're going to add in a date property as well as a checkbox property, which we're going to rename to done. All right, now that all the basic properties are added, let's go ahead and link all of these databases with each other using relations. So on the task database, you want to add a relation property and then just link it to the weekly sprints database, make it show up on the weekly sprints and then just add the relation. So as you can see, if I here just add in, for example, week one, and then here for my daily tasks, click on the relation. I can now link all of these tasks to that week. And now we're going to do the same thing for the weekly sprints database. So just add the relation and then link it to the goals database, add the relation. And now if I just add in goal one, I can now link this week to goal one. And before I continue, I'm just going to click on all of these relations and then just add in an icon for all of them. And then I'm also going to change the icon for the date properties as well as change the icon for this formula. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add the progress bar for the weekly sprints as well as the goals database. On our weekly sprints database, now that we've added our relation, we can go ahead and add a roller property, which is going to be for our progress bar. And then here we can select the daily tasks database. We want to select the done checkbox property. And for calculate, we want to show the percentage check. So now for week one, which is related to all three of these tasks, if I mark one of them as complete, then the progress bar will now update. And then in order to actually make it look like a progress bar, you just want to edit the property and then change it to a progress bar or a progress ring. And as for our goals database, we're going to do the exact same thing, except you can't do a rollup on a rollup. So if I select the weekly sprints database, 
then here you can see we can select the Sarala property. So what we have to do first is just inside of the weekly sprints database, add a formula property. And this formula is going to be the progress bar. So this roll up, if I click on done, then you'll see it's just a bunch of decimals. So what you want to do is just change the number format to percentage. And then inside of the formula, you want to add a round function. And then let's just remove the open bracket. And then at the end, we want to multiply this with 100, add a closing bracket, and then divide everything with 100. So now if I click on done, then it should just show a normal percentage. And now this formula, I can edit the property and I can change it to a progress bar. Let's just also change the color and then call this one progress bar. And then I'm also just going to give this one a chart icon. And now because this is a formula, I can go inside of the roller property inside the goals database, and I can select that formula property. And for calculate, you just want to select average. And then same thing here, you can just edit this property, select the progress bar, change the color, and then also just give it a name and an icon. So as you can see, the progress is 67%. And if I go ahead and relate to week two with this goal, as well as add a new task, and then just relate this task to week two, then you'll be able to see that this progress bar will update once I mark this checkbox as complete. So for the goals database, we've added all the properties that we need to add. And now we just need to add one more formula property for both the weekly sprints and daily tasks. So for the task database, we're going to add a formula, which we're going to call weekly sprints, which we're going to use to filter the tasks that is in this current week. Now I'm not going to dive into Notion formulas in this video as I already have a dedicated playlist and also an hour long module inside my free Notion course dedicated to Notion formulas. So just check those out through the links in the description if you actually want to learn formulas. But yeah, in this video, I'm just going to use the formulas and show you what you need to create. So for this formula, we're going to use the if function and then the map function because we want to use the weekly sprints database, which is the related database. And then we want to use the progress bar property. So we're saying if the progress bar of the weekly sprints database is one, so we're going to add a filter function. And then we're going to say if the progress bar equals one, aka 100%, then show true, otherwise show false. Now, if I click on done, you'll be able to see that task one, two, and three has unchecked checkboxes because they relate to week one, which is not 100%. And for the weekly sprint state database, it's pretty much going to be the exact same formula. So let's just go ahead and copy this. And then we're going to add another formula. This one is going to be for goal finished. And here I'm just going to paste in the formula and I'm going to replace the weekly sprint state database with the goal state database and then also just replace the progress bar with the one from the goals database. Now, if I click on done, you'll be able to see that the goals is unchecked because the main goal isn't completed yet. But if I take this one, which is 100% complete, and I swap this out for one of the other goals, then you'll see that this checkbox is now checked. And as for the deadline formula inside the goals database, I'm just going to paste in this formula, which will show how many days are remaining. So if it's in the future, it will show the days remaining. If it's tomorrow, it will show due tomorrow due today and then also days past due. And if you want to learn how to create this formula, then just check out part two of my formula 2.0 series. Now that we've created all the properties, all we now have to do is just add the different views. So for the goals database, we're going to just go inside of layout and then change it to a gallery view. And we're going to change the card preview to none, change the card size to small. And then on this view, we want to show the progress bar as well as the deadline formula. And then we're just going to put the deadline formula at the top and then for this view, we're just going to rename it to active and then also just give it an icon. And then for the wins view, we're just going to duplicate this view and then just rename it to wins and also just give it an icon and change the layout to a list view. So for this wins view, we're going to sort this according to the deadline formula and then also add a filter to where the progress bar is one, aka 100%. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for the active view. So just sort this according to the deadline formula and add a filter to where the progress bar is not 100%. So we're just basically inversing it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the goals database. Now for both the weekly sprints and daily tasks database, we're going to change this to the add sprints view. And then this one is going to be changed to the add tasks view. And then both of these views, we're just going to add an icon. So I'm just going to use this type icon. And then for the weekly sprints, we're just going to hide all of the properties except the date property and also the relation to the goals database. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the tasks. 
So just show the date property and the relation to the weekly sprints. Now for both of these databases, we're just going to duplicate this view and we're going to change this to wins and then just give it an icon and go inside of layout and change this to a list view. And then inside of filter, we want to filter the weekly sprints database to where the progress bar is 100%. And then we also want to sort this according to the date property. And then the properties we're going to show on this view is going to be the timeline property as well as the progress bar. And for the task database, it's going to be the exact same thing. So let's just create another view, which is going to be called wins. Go inside of layout, change it to a list view, go to filter and then filter this to where the done checkbox property is checked. And then also where the sort is set to the due date and then inside of properties, the properties we want to show is going to be the weekly sprints, the date property, and also the done checkbox property. Now for both of these databases, we're also just going to add a calendar view. Let's just rename this to calendar and then also just give it a calendar icon. And then for the properties, we want to show the relation to the goals database as well as the progress bar. And then let's just go ahead and repeat this for the daily tasks. So select the calendar option and then just add in calendar as the name, add a icon, hide the database title, Go to properties and then just show the weekly sprints relation as well as the done checkbox property. And then let's also just move the wins view to the end. And then for both of these databases, we're also going to add a board view, which is going to be called overview. And then just give it an icon, hide the database title, click on done, and then go to group and then change the group option to the goals database for the weekly sprints. Make sure that hide empty groups and color columns are turned on. And then the properties we want to show is going to be the progress bar. The filter for this view is going to be where the goal finished property is unchecked. And this view is going to be sorted according to the progress bar as well as sorted according to the timeline. And then the last thing we're going to do for this view is just click on this calculation, go to more options and select the average progress bar. And then once this view is done, let's just move it to the front and then create the exact same view for the task database. So let's go ahead and create a new board view and then just hide the database title and click on done. And then let's just give it the name. So this is going to be called overview. Let's give it an icon. Let's show the done checkbox property and the date property. And then for filters, we're going to filter this to where the weekly sprint is unchecked. And we're going to sort this according to the date property. And then inside of the grouping tab, we're just going to turn on color columns. And then for the calculation, we want to show the percentage checked for the done checkbox property. And for the daily task database, we're going to add one extra view, which is going to be a list view. And this is going to be called this week. Let's just go ahead and give it an icon, click on done, and then filter this view to where the date property is this week. So is relative to today, this week, and then also just sort it according to the date property. And then the properties we want to show on this view is going to be the date property, the done checkbox property, as well as the weekly sprints relation. And I'm also just going to move this view to the front. So now that all the views has been added, I'm also just going to create a template button for all of them in order to just add an icon. So I'm just going to use this icon for the tasks and then just set this template button as default. So if we create a new task, it will automatically have that icon. And I can also go inside of all the existing tasks and then just select this template button in order to add the icon. And I'm going to do the same for the weekly sprints. So new template, I'm going to add an icon going to select this icon for the weekly sprints, set this template button as default, and then just go to my existing weeks and then just select this template button. And as you can see now on the daily task view, everything has icons, which just makes everything look a lot cleaner. And then go to the existing goals and then just add the icon. And just adding that small change of adding default template buttons makes this entire template a lot more cleaner and enjoyable to use. And there you go. Now you know how to build a system inside of Notion to help you reverse engineer your goals into daily tasks. The link to this template will be in the description below, right underneath the like button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.